This video is for my systems and control students, specifically the ones who've done the laser cut box and now need to make the working drawings. So here's an example file that I made myself. Uh, you can see, hopefully you can see from this box, uh, this is going to be, say, we could call this a top panel. So that would be a bottom panel. That will be a left hand side. Remember, that's sort of going to fold down there or hinge down there. Uh, that's going to be the right, uh, right hand side. Uh, that could be the front. That's going to um, slot in there in those tabs. And then this panel will go up to the top. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is uh, you zoom out a little bit so you can actually see what you're working on and see if the layout is actually in a logical sort of order. Now, at the moment, I don't think that it is uh, terrifically uh, logical. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move that up there. And then hopefully that makes a bit more sense to you. So now we've got, as I say, the, the top of the box, the base of the box, and then we've got the left, the right, the, I don't know, what, you, what are you going to call this, the, the, the front and the back, or the back and the front, depends which way around you're looking at it. But do make sure that the layout is logical. Also make sure that things are aligned. Let's just click all, all here. Uh, bearing in mind that this panel is going to be exactly the same width as this panel and this panel as well. It makes sense to have them all in alignment there. I think that's that's going to make it look uh, not only a lot more tidy in terms of the drawing, but also it makes it much easier to understand. And if you do add dimensions, then it means that you only have to say add one or two dimensions, which can then span across uh, several different components. So let's add some dimensions. Um, at the very minimum, I suggest that you give dimensions for the the height, the width, the length of the box. Uh, you don't, and in fact, this is something I need to stress, you don't need to add, say, the, the um, size for every one of these tabs. So that would just look ridiculous. So uh, let's, for some reason my mouse wasn't responding there. That's weird. Just click in Windows 10 for you. Uh, so here we've got horizontal and vertical dimensioning. By default, I think 2D design uh, sometimes chooses this. Let's just have a quick look at this one to start off with. Uh, the risk with this one is that you're not going to go quite uh, straight. And so it's not going to give you the uh, correct dimension or the one that you probably actually want. So let's just uh, get rid of that. Uh, so do stick with, unless you've got a good reason to do something else, uh, to use the horizontal and vertical dimensioning tools. So if we were going to get the uh, three main dimensions, like I say, the, the, the length, the width, the height. So let's just do this. So click there. I don't know why my mouse is uh, not responding. There we go. OK, so they're 132 millimeters and what else might we find useful? So let's click that one. Notice uh, that it's easy just to pull out now. It's um, I've got the grid lock on, so it's uh, snapping to grid as well. Uh, wherever I click with the mouse now, it's going to place the actual uh, number. So I want it centrally. It looks better like that. And then let's have a horizontal dimension. So let's go from, say, there. Uh, to the go halfway again like that. Now bearing in mind that that dimension, uh, this dimension I've just placed, that's exactly the same dimensions across here. So you don't need to do that as well. So you know you could do. I'm not saying that it's um, a, a totally bad thing to do, but if I added that dimension, it's the same thing. Okay. Now like I mentioned. Uh, this is going to be laser cut, so you don't actually need to have an awful lot of dimensions. You just, whoever's looking at these plans needs to have an idea of roughly what, well, not roughly, what the size, overall size of the box will be. So we've already given them that dimension, uh, all those dimensions. So the next thing then, uh, it might be useful if we could just indicate what some of these diameters are. Now, with a large circle like this, I suggest you use the uh, diameter dimension tool, the one with the arrows on the inside. So we click this and then just pull out the lead line comes out. And the uh, slash uh, 56 just uh, slash 0, 56 just means a dimension of 56 millimeters. <clears throat> uh, you'll notice that, let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, you notice that the arrows are on the inside, which is which is great. There's no problem at all when you've got a large circle, but if you've got something smaller like these, it really doesn't work so well. So 
uh, you'll see the problem there. It just is not good. So you're, you've got to choose a, a better dimensioning tool than that. So let's have a look. Now you've got a radius. You've got a radius where the arrow is on the outside, on the inside. Uh, we've also got a diameter on the outside. Now, um, because these ones, let's just, just uh, go back here for a moment. Because these are complete circles, I think it makes sense to have these as diameters rather than radiuses. Uh, if, on the other hand, we had a radius corner, then use that as a radius, not as a diameter. So let's uh, go with the, just the arrow on the outside and then just click and then pull out like that. And there we go. OK, so eight millimeters diameter. Uh, now you could also add, um, if you really wanted to, you could add distance between the centers of those two. I personally don't think that it's necessary. I think uh, we could infer that those two are going to be the same. And let's just zoom in a little bit further on down. So these ones, yeah, sure, you could add di um, diameters like that. But um, you know that already from what I've shown you so far. Just in case you wanted to show the placement, it's normal when you've got circles to show distances to the centre of the circles rather than, say, to the edge of the circles. So, um, OK, so let's just get a dimension horizontal. And if we went, say, uh, from, say, uh, to the you could get a dimension like that to the center and then you could get a dimension from the center here like that. OK, if you wanted to do that now, um, it starts to look a little bit messy. That is a bit of a problem. And as I say, I don't think that you need it. But if you feel that it's necessary, then by all means, you can add it in. Just don't add so many dimensions. You can hardly see your drawing. Uh, other things you could do, you can have a line, so center lines are often quite useful, and we need to change the line style. I think I've previously changed it because I was doing drawings with uh, a center line, but not by default. Normally it's just a solid line like that. And there are these things called center lines. There seem to be a lot more styles than I was used to using at school, but let's just choose that one. Uh, you can change the pitch as well. That's uh, the length of it. I think I've changed it to 20 before I found that better. I'm not absolutely sure. Let's just click on OK. Let's try it. So center lines in indicate centers. Now just let's just get rid of that. So and let's just zoom in. OK, so that's now indicating the centers of those circles. So let's indicate those centers. And we could do the same as well. For some reason, my uh, why this mouse is playing up today. That might be the video capture software. So there, you can see now that I have uh, indicated that those are um, positioned uh, equally, symmetrically. So if you wanted to, of course, you could also add some dimension lines if you wanted to. Well. I don't, but let's do it. OK, so you could do that. And then you can add some other dimensions. I'm sure you get the idea. Don't want to make the video too long. But overall, what I'm suggesting is, first of all, make sure that you've got a logical layout. Then you've got the main overall box, say, let's call them box dimensions. Uh, and then uh, show some ability and add in some more dimensions, but please don't add too many dimensions to make it look ridiculous. Oh, one last thing. Uh, you might find this useful uh, if you click this and then on the, on the uh, there we go, the last one, draw a leader line. And you can, if you want to, you can add notes. So you click it, pull, click, pull, click, and I think right click and it finishes it. Yeah, let's say you can have Right, and side or whatever notes you want. So you can add notes with this. OK, like that. Um, once, so once you've done that, maybe you can uh, copy and paste it. Uh, let's just, uh, you can copy and paste this into your Word document here. You can add some other notes as well. Uh, just one final, final thing I just thought of. 
Uh, some people struggle because the page size isn't big enough. So if you want to change the page size, go on setup, drawing, layout, and you can change the uh, page size there.